Hi, I'm Grace Webb, and in this series of videos, we're going to be taking a look at a variety of different vehicles and answer some of the most frequently asked questions about which car might be perfect for you. So we're going to start with electric cars. In this case, the Skoda Enyaq Coupe, or more precisely, two of them. One of the big motoring myths is that your driving style and how you load up your car affects the amount of range you get out of it. So if you're going on a road trip, do you need to rethink the way that you drive? Do you need to rethink how you're going to load the car? To answer those questions, we're going to go on our own little road trip, starting from here at Media City in Manchester, going all the way up to an eco site in the Lake District, a journey of just over 100 miles. Now, both those cars will do that journey and back for the matter, but just to see how many passengers you have or your driving style affects the range, we're going to load up one car with people, mainly our film crew. Give us a wave. Hey! And we'll certainly be making the most of the comfort accessories in the car. So we'll have the radio on, the heated seats on, the sat nav on. Whereas the other car, well, let's just say that probably won't be the most exciting of road trips because he's not allowed to use any of the tech in the car. No singing along to the radio, no heated seats. Oh, and he'll be going solo. So both these cars are starting fully charged. Let's get loaded up hit the road and see how we get on. Right troops, are we ready? It is a typical northern day today. Rain, wind, it's feeling pretty cold outside, so I reckon we need to crank that. Heating up, heated seats on. Ooh, and it's got heated steering wheel. Let's have a bit of that as well. The motoring myth says that the careful driver with no passengers, no extra weight in the car, and doesn't use any of the tech, will arrive with more range than the car that does the exact opposite, our car, because we'll be doing all of those things. Now, as we mentioned earlier, these Enyaqs are more than capable of the 109 mile journey from Manchester to the lakes. They've got an official range of 345 miles with a 77 kilowatt hour battery producing around 310 newton meters of torque. It's capable of zero to 60 in 8.5 seconds and has a top speed of 99 miles per hour. Some stats for you there. And pretty good stats as electric cars go, so it'll be interesting to see the difference between the two cars. But what do all those numbers actually mean? With electric cars, there's a lot of new terms to understand. For example, this Enyaq has a 77 kilowatt hour battery, so that tells you the size of the battery. The bigger the battery, the more energy it can store. A bigger battery means you can go further, but it also means it'll weigh more. So that's why often bigger EVs have bigger batteries. Although we're testing the difference today between weight and tech usage between two cars, there's other aspects that can affect a car's range. And colder temperatures are one of those things that can drag the range down. Chillier conditions means that the battery has to work harder to transfer energy, resulting in less range. However, many EVs, like this Enyaq, can be fitted with a heat pump, which keeps the system at a certain operating temperature, making the battery more efficient. The world of electric cars at the moment does require a bit of pre-planning, so if you're doing a long journey, it's best to plan your charging route before you leave. Though EVs like this Enyaq can do that for you automatically via the sat-nav. <laughs> Next. I was hoping for something more sing-alongy. So road trip update. We are just over halfway 
and I've got 72% battery life with around 200 miles of range left. It says I've been driving at 3.3 miles per kilowatt hour, which is pretty reasonable. I've been driving how I normally would, overtaking where I needed to, and I'd say we've been driving in comfort, wouldn't you guys? Yeah. Yeah, it's nice and toasty warm in here. I've had my heated seat on. We've had a sing-along to the radio. It's all been good. I'm not sure if the same can be said for the other car. Oh, I've got a joke for you guys. Why did the electric car want to be an actor? Because it had good energy on stage. <laughs> If you're thinking about getting an electric car, then there's so many myths to wade through. Some people think that you can't take an electric vehicle through a car wash, which is absolutely false. And it's the same with charging in the rain. It's perfectly fine to plug in, even if it's tipping it down outside. We're nearing the end of our journey now, just over 100 miles completed. We've left the city in Manchester, we've just come off the motorway and now we're in the beautiful landscape of the Lake District. And this car has coped with everything we've thrown at it, all the different road types. And there hasn't been any concern about range, even with using all the tech and having a car full of people. So the only thing left to do now is find out how the two journeys compare. Two hours ago, we left the city of Manchester and we're now in the gorgeous Lake District. We left with one car fully loaded with people and bags, as well as using all of the comfort facilities. And there was an absolutely identical car, but that had no people inside and no tech was allowed. The final verdict? There was a 4% battery life difference hardly anything and that's with us using the heated seats heated steering wheel air conditioning the radio was on and loads of heavy kit in the back it's not much difference so do you really need to worry about loading your ev up to the brim or using all of the tech inside our test has proved no Thanks for watching this video and let us know in the comments if the verdict surprised you or if you've changed your mind about any of the EV myths. And while you're there, click subscribe so you can stay tuned for more of the Motors Versus series.